Justin Timberlake and his wife Jessica Biel recently made their first public appearance after Justin's scandal with his co-star Alicia Wainwright. It's not just celebrities that deal with embarrassing situations and it's got us thinking of how do you manage embarrassment in your relationship? Maybe after a scandal, this is exactly what Blanca and I are talking about this morning. Blanca, you analyzed a photo from Cosmo magazine of Justin and Jessica, their first, first photo together and their first public appearance after his apology about that whole scandal that happened, him holding hands with his co-star. So what did you notice in their body language? What you can tell is that they have a nice polite smile, but as I always talk about, you can see a lot of emotions in the hands and you'll notice how his his hand is fisted. That's mm -hmm. really not a normal way to hold your hand. You'll see the natural curvature and your hands are open when they're by your side. So that signifies to me that he's feeling some level of stress. You can't even see her hands at all. Perhaps it's a style of the, of the coat that she's wearing here, the jacket. But then if you look at the feet, you'll notice that her foot is like almost coming out of her shoe. It's like she wants to take a step forward. That indicates that she wants to go. She wants to leave. Mm. And if you think about it, when you have a scandal in your relationship, you're going to be facing a lot of scrutiny. That can unnerve anybody. Yeah, I feel like since a little bit of stress, they probably knew that a lot of people are going to be taking their photos and knew that they were going to talk about this. So maybe that's the sense of stress that we're getting. So how do you start to handle the negativity and opinions of others after a bad situation maybe like this? You have to be prepared that people are going to say all kinds of things and they're going to believe whatever they want because people are going to try to make meaning of what happened. Even if it isn't their business, they're going to try to. So your best thing is to ignore them and that's difficult, but just ignore what they say. Yeah, that is very, very hard. Okay, thank you so much for joining us and giving us some advice on that. Of course, if you want to continue this conversation with Blanca, head over to her Facebook page. That's Blanca Cobb, body language expert. Give her a like and write on her timeline.